15 Minuten mit den Capitals. Äh, ich bin der Anni Nödel, äh, Taylor Waus. Und äh, jetzt schauen wir uns mal an, was ihr für uns da habt. Äh, Fabian Nimpf für Wie stehen die Chancen zum Sieg? Äh, Chancen schon immer gut aus. Ähm, KC ist ein harter Brocken und ja, schauen wir, was rauskommt. Uh, Taylor, uh, how long are you going to stay with the Caps from Patrick Grilovica? Uh, well, uh, thanks for the question, Patrick. Uh, I'm not sure as of right now. Um, I loved it here this year and uh, we still have work to do in the finals, but uh, I would love to be back in Vienna next year. It's a great organization and a great city to be in. So. Um, <sighs> Hopefully we find out as soon as possible uh, if I can be back. Gute Antwort. Okay, uh, Manuel Thomeyer, die Caps werden Meister. Hoffentlich wird er harter Brocken. Uh, Stefan Heidel, wisst ihr, inwieweit das Team so bleibt, wer alles gehen wird? Uh, das ist alles eine Frage für den Herrn Kaller, um, wie das ausschaut nach der Saison. Um, das wird immer nach der Saison geregelt. Während der, während der Saison ist normalerweise nie was mit uh, Vertragsverlängerungen. Uh, Samuel Kleinlerchner, wer wird beim KC im Tor stehen? Keine Ahnung. Uh, okay, jetzt haben wir eine von Taylor vielleicht. Ja, da, Marcel Lip Lipino. Taylor, would you want to design our jerseys next year? Ooh, not a good one. Yeah, would uh, would love to. Um, this year with the Caps uh, Christmas jersey, uh, it was my 10th jersey design that I've had uh, used by either a pro team or a junior team. So that was pretty exciting for me. And I would love to uh, potentially do another special event jersey for next season. Uh, if I'm uh, here, it would be awesome to uh, raise some more money for a good foundation. This year we raised quite a bit of money for uh, Diabetes Austria and uh, it was pretty great to be a part of that. So if I have that opportunity again, I would love to do that. Okay, was haben wir da? Uh, Christoph Trenz, werdet ihr euch das Spiel U20 anschauen? Ja, ich glaube, ein Drittel werde ich mal anschauen. Ich glaube, die, die Burgen spielen recht brav im Moment und uh, hoffentlich holen wir den Meistertitel. Uh, oh, Taylor, another one. We got an English one. English question. one, right so on, I don't even have right to translate on. it for you, buddy. All right, from Marcus. Uh, Taylor, what would you think of when I made a whole collection of figures with the jerseys you designed? Oh, so uh, Marcus was uh, a fan that put together some pretty awesome figurines of uh, me in, I believe, a uh, couple of Swift Current Broncos jerseys designs of mine. Uh, I did one of me in uh, my Texas jerseys um, and uh, also did one that he gave me personally uh, with the Capitals uh, and they were awesome. Uh, if anyone's seen them, I think I might be tagged on my Instagram uh, and on his Instagram as well with uh, some pretty cool little uh, figurines there. So you grew up thinking uh, it'd be pretty awesome to have your own uh, little uh, figurine and he made one, made, made a bunch for me actually. So that was pretty awesome. So thanks for that, Marcus. Okay, might as well keep going with you, Taylor. You're on fire. So uh, here's one from Matthew Roach. Uh, Taylor, what are some of your plans for Taylor's Type 1s going forward? Uh, well, hi to Matthew Roach uh, in uh, New York there. I met him uh, during my time with the Adirondack Flames. And actually, Andy played in Adirondack as well when they were the Phantoms. So kind of a little connection there we have. Uh, but uh, anyways, Matthew, uh, his son, uh, has type 1 diabetes and I met uh, both of them while I was in New York and um, they uh, helped me, you know, give some outreach with the diabetes situation and uh, with the Taylor's type 1s, uh, I'm hoping next year we can get a lot of kids out to uh, the games and, uh, you know, just raise awareness in general. Um, pretty awesome for me to be a part of uh, the jersey this year and raising money for um, Diabetes Austria, that was pretty awesome for me. Um, so from there, uh, hopefully just pick up some steam and, and uh, build it as we go. So get as many kids out uh, to the games as possible and raise as much diabetes awareness as possible as well. So hopefully uh, we can do that uh, next season. Very good. Okay. Uh, 
Maximilian Uber, hättet ihr euch eher Salzburg oder doch den KC fürs Finale gewünscht? Ähm, das ist eine Frage für einen Hartl, sehr speziell. Ähm, ganz egal, beide sind sehr starke Gegner. Thomas Walker, Andi bleibt der Bart nach dem Finalsieg. Der, der Bart bleibt immer. Ähm, Frau taugt er, mir, mir taugt er auch, muss er taugen. Ähm, ein bisschen stutzen werde ich ihn und das war's. Uh, I think if we scroll up a little bit, we had a shout out directly to Mr. Andy. Oh yeah. Um, let me that? see where that was. That was a good one. Uh, we had a hi Andy from. I didn't see that. There we oh, go. Yeah. From S Stefan Waldron. Well, so, thank hello. you. Hello. That's a good hello right, <laughs> right to Andy directly. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, viele Fragen. Uh, okay. Nehmen wir uns uh, Mario. Wahrscheinlich der Mario. Andy, wie ist es als Assistant Kapitän? Um, What's that in English? How, how is it as an assistant captain? It's great. Yeah. I would say for him. Um, great, great hast, selection. Es, ich glaube, es ändert sich nicht viel, aber, aber ab und zu kann man uh, mit den mit die Schiedsrichter ein bisschen, ein bisschen mehr diskutieren. Also ich glaube, das ist gut für einen Rotter. Da kann er, kann er sich ein bisschen austoben mit den Schiedsrichtern. Uh, was? That, that one. Okay. This is a German question about, I think, insulin pumps. Yeah. Do you wear insulin pumps uh, during a game or do you? So that's take from it? Angela. Um, Angelina, sorry. Stickelberger. Um, so this is actually my insulin pump and uh, I wear it basically at all times other than maybe showering after practice or going for a swim. and. Uh, I don't wear it during hockey games, but uh, I do wear it during practice. So basically, otherwise, I'm wearing this at all times, and uh, it's made a huge difference in my uh, diabetes management. And um, you know, I'm grateful that this technology exists because it's uh, pretty awesome to have. So I do wear it during practice, but not not during games. I've been able to manage it pretty good while I while I do that. So I don't know if you can translate that a little bit in German, just in case. Um. You know, I think they're pretty good at Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're yeah. pretty educated people here in Vienna. Perfect. All right, it says Josef Kachala. How are you going to celebrate after a finals and a vacation? Um, after finals, after, nach der Saison, normalerweise gehe ich immer zurück nach Amerika in der nächsten Woche und dann uh, Vacation gibt es für mich nicht wirklich. Yeah. Vielleicht fahren wir für eine Woche ans Meer mit der Familie, aber sonst uh, Zeit verbringen mit, uh, mit der Familie. Um, what, about, what about you? Like any vacations this summer? Uh, well, not necessarily a vacation. Uh, it would be a little trip to my junior town potentially to go to Swift Current, Saskatchewan. Swifty. Yeah, small town Saskatchewan, but played my junior career there and uh, haven't seen my billets in a long time, so it'd be great to see them, see some people around town. And uh, maybe actually we've got a couple of guys in our team that are from Regina, Saskatchewan, which is about two and a half hours away from Swift Current and might go up and visit uh, Holt Saffel and Brocklehurst up there and maybe catch a Regina Pats game as well during the playoffs. So it'd be great to uh, get up there and, you know, do a little Saskatchewan living again. Um, but uh, at the end of the season, um, not too sure exactly just yet, might uh, look into some travel plans, but as of right now, just uh, focusing on the finals. Very good. Okay, let's see. Schauen wir mal, was haben wir da. Flo Wesselak, freut ihr euch aufs Finale? Ja, unglaublich. Ich uh, bin stolz, dass wir es wieder ins Finale geschafft haben. Und uh, wieder, wieder super hart über dir am Freitag. Uh, Vor das Haus. Also, ja, um, yeah. can't wait. Uh, Markus Floridsdorf, wie viele Spiele denkt ihr werden es im Finale werden? Äh, ganz eine lange Serie. Also ich glaube nicht, dass es weniger als sechs oder sieben Spiele sind. So, although my German is not the best at all, um, from Claudia, um, we have a question that says Hallo Jungs, which would be Hello 
boys, right? Very good. Uh, do you play uh, NHL on PS4? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. I'm there you know, go. picking up a little bit of German. Learning. Um, so uh, I haven't played in a long time. We played a little bit at the start of the year. Uh, I think I won a couple games, but uh, I think Fraser was the champion. Fraser, yeah. He uh, he's a little bit of a shark on that. So a little nerd. Um, yeah, I haven't played that in a in a long while, but always enjoy a good game of uh, good NHL spiel. Uh, Jamie Fraser, maybe come to Sarnia. <laughs> no, thank no, you. No, thank you. No, thank you. There's nothing there. Pre- appreciate the offer, though. Uh, Franz Peter wünscht euch einen guten Start ins Finale. Habt ihr euch irgendwie speziell in den letzten Tagen auf den KC vorbereitet? Uh, heute haben wir Video geschaut. Um, morgen und übermorgen genau dasselbe. Aber im Endeffekt ist es genau dieselbe Vorbereitung wie Innsbruck und Bozen auch. Also Video schauen und dann uh, ein bisschen analysieren, was, was die gut machen und uh, um, Special Teams. Lisa Sophie Polz, was sagt ihr zu eurer, unserer Akademie? Ähm, ich glaube, das ist wirklich super, was wir da mit der Nachwuchsarbeit machen. Ähm, es wird dann die nächsten paar Jahre wirklich Früchte tragen und da äh, müssen wir weiter so arbeiten. Ähm, tolle Zahl, die ganzen machen, machen einen richtig, richtig guten Job und äh, ähm, das hat man eh gesehen, bei uns spielen einige Jungen mit dabei und die machen eigentlich die, die Sache ziemlich gut. Okay, here's one. The Mati Hoditz, was, wie, was für ein Gefühl wäre, was wäre es für ein Gefühl für euch Meister zu werden? How cool would it be to be a champion? It would be uh, amazing. Um, I was lucky enough to be a part of the Calder Cup team with Texas to to win the championship, but I wasn't fully necessarily part of the part of the uh, victory I was a uh, black ace during that so you know you're around it but not fully part of it and this year it would be a pretty awesome experience to uh, you know be a big uh, a big hopefully piece of a championship team as uh, all of our team is and and uh, just be very exciting so our the end goal is to come away with the championship and we're pretty close to it and we're excited at the opportunity and we'll see what happens Okay, here's a good one. Uh, Fabian Weichselbaum shows your German skills. <laughs> one word. Uh, one word. Yeah. Uh, Kartoffeln. Uh, good. <laughs> potatoes. Uh, uh, yeah, potatoes are pretty prominent in my life, so that's a good one. Peter Lindbichler, Andy and Taylor, how player of the EBL from other teams you wore Habe by the Caps? Let me think. Okay, machen wir andere Frage. Uh, Tobias Reich ist Waus bei euch auch der Ping-Pong-Chef? <laughs> you good on Ping-Pong? I would say I'm sufficiently average. I'm very, you know. Who's like the best? Uh, we haven't seen a lot of Ping-Pong yeah. in the dressing room this year, but uh, I, would, like I would say. Paul our, Shona, Jerry. He, yeah, Jerry, I'll be honest, if Jerry's watching, sorry to tell you, he was terrible at the start of the year last year in Bolzano. But he was one guy that stayed committed and uh, really upped his game in ping pong. So he ended up being one of the better players last year, and he's translated that over to this season. A lot of spin. Uh, yeah, he's a he's a very <laughs> cautious, patient player. Okay, uh, da steht wieder Frage, ob ich und uh, Taylor next season play for the Vienna Capitals. The Domi, Domitendo Dominic Manhalter. Um, Vertragsverhandlungen sind meistens immer nach der Saison, also wir wissen genauso viel wie du oder wird während der Saison wird uh, grundsätzlich nicht verhandelt. Uh, Oliver Rannert, PS4 oder Xbox? PS4 wahrscheinlich. Uh, maybe one last question, one we last got question. one minute left here. Maybe we'll take from Marco Rotter. Oh. Uh, Andy t- and Taylor, how much uh, you can feel it on the ice when the hall is sold out? Well, right away in the last round, I mean, all season, great fans for sure, but uh, it was crazy when it was sold out and ups the intensity and you can really feel the energy in there. So it, it uh, helps us along and we're excited to have uh, 
minimum the first two games uh, sold out and have a pack bar. Yeah. Ja, es wird unglaublich und das äh, gibt uns den letzten Putsch. Also super. So, just want to say thanks for tuning in. Thanks for your questions and uh, we'll see you in the finals.